Hi, welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So this is a general reading for Cancer. Um, we're just gonna I'm gonna pull from the Angel Answer deck just to see what comes up for you, Cancer. Um, thank you guys for all the, the likes, shares, and for the subscribes. Well, if you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing to my channel. So before I even get into the reading, I'm going to say a prayer. I kind of been falling off with the prayers before the readings, but I feel like it's very necessary to um, get back to doing it. So here we go. Dear God, please bring peace, love, and light into this space. Keep me and my viewers protected. <clears throat> and take away any words and thoughts only allow high vibrational souls onto this channel we thank you for the healing that has already been given and for your ultimate and divine protection thank you so let's see what comes up for cancer messages we have for cancer what messages we have for cancer oh also too if you're new to my channel sorry for that noise that just happened like the heat just came on but um if you would like to follow me on instagram you can at pink or tarot What messages do you have for cancer? Okay, cancer. This card just flew. Oh, wow. Cancer. The first card that came out is abundance. So let's see what else we get. What messages do you have for cancer? What messages do you have for cancer? Oh, wow. Communicate clearly. Okay. Communicate clearly. I don't know why <clears throat> with these just like just these two cards. I'm going to pull one more card. I feel like somebody wants to give you something cancer. Or somebody wants to communicate something to you. I feel like this is some sort of gift or something. But let's pull one more card. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we got no need to worry at the bottom of the deck, Cancer. Yeah, so for some of you guys, I feel like, because we just communicate clearly, I don't think it's you, Cancer. Because we got abundance first. I feel like somebody's approaching you. This could have been a situation where you were worried about. Some of you guys could have been, yeah, I feel like this could be like a follow-up to the last reading that I did for cancers it's like you guys were like looking for a sign well I'm a cancer too and um majority of the, the readings do resonate like you could have been asking or praying for a sign um to help you in a situation I'm gonna pull an energy oracle card give me one for cancer yes Ooh. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna jump too far ahead. I'm gonna get I'm gonna tell y'all what's at the bottom of this deck right here, like at the end of the reading, because <laughs> I don't know exactly what this is gonna be about. But we have the um seventh chakra right here, the seventh chakra archangel Uriel. So this is basically intuition, um, spirit connection. Um, what else is this about? Yeah, intuition, inspiration. I feel like this could be more so inspiration, Cancer, because we got abundance. See, abundance can be like money. I feel like abundance is like some sort of gift or something for you, Cancer. But let's get into the cards real quick because this is this seems really exciting so far. It's about clarify abundance for cancer. Clarify 
clarify abundance for cancer. I don't know why I'm so excited right now. Like, this could be something really exciting for you, cancer. Oh, wow. So, ooh, cancer. This five of wands just came out for abundance. Oh, you know, it, there was a, a reading that I did for cancer and it was basically, um, it's like abundance was coming towards you guys. And it's like, you may have some people around you. There's like some type of conflict, some, um, hateration going on <laughs> with this five of wands being here. So, mm. and then we got the two of swords at the bottom of the deck cancer. So, I don't know if some of you guys need to cut somebody off. Somebody's, like, that two of swords is, like, somebody making a really um, tough decision. And then with communicate clearly being here, too. And then we got no need to worry. At the bottom of the deck. Let's see. Clarify abundance for cancer. Clarify abundance for cancer. Yeah. I don't know if this is some type of... um, Like for some of you guys, if you're into like the creative arts. Because I see a lot of um, wands here. We got the page of wands. For some of you guys, I feel like there's some type of communication coming in from, some, from possibly someone. It could be a fire sign. Because we do have a lot of wands here. But it's like a lot of passion, a lot of energy. Like, um, I feel like this is like something coming towards you. I don't know if you guys had some type of conflict with somebody. But I feel like somebody's bringing in some some sort of news with this page of wands. It could be like really good news or like uh, communication coming in. And then we got Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. For some of you guys, you may be about to enter into like a new, um, almost like a new energy because there's been like a shift. So for some of you guys, if you've been feeling like if things have been stagnant, it's like the energy is going to pick up, like you're going to um, move out of the energy. For some cancers, whatever this is, it's going to be very abundant. So let's see what's going on. Clarify abundance for cancer. I think in that last reading I was talking about, because the moon card had came out. For some of you guys, it's like you're worried. Um, or there's just like some type of illusion going on around you. It could be people... There could be some type of deception going on around with people around you. And for some of you guys, it's like you're really listening to your intuition. But I feel like something's coming towards you that's going to be like really abundant. And there, there may be some people around you that's not going to like it. Clarify abundance for cancer. Yeah, okay, ooh. So we got the judgment card that came out at the bottom of the deck, but then we have we got the king of cups. So um this could be your energy cancer or somebody else's. I feel like this is some type of communication that's coming in from someone. Whatever this abundance is for you, cancer. I feel like you, whatever this is, it's like you're really passionate about it or someone's really passionate about you, but I feel like somebody's coming in to communicate. Let's clarify, communicate. Because with that judgment card being at the bottom of the deck, this is like somebody, um, that could be somebody coming back around. So it could be a water sign or a fire sign. Clarify, communicate clearly. All right, that was one too many cards. Clarify, communicate clearly. 
So this um, Seven of Swords came out. So Cancer, for some of you guys, it seems like some of you guys may be lying about some type of uh, abundance that's coming towards you. Are you going to have to lie about it with the Seven of Swords? Let's see what this is about. Clarify, communicate clearly. the six of pentacles whatever this abundance is cancer i feel like this is like money for some people i feel like this is like some unexpected abundance coming towards someone and it's like some people around you that's like causing some type of conflict with this five of wands so it's almost like you may be um because what this communicate clearly but then we got yes right here too. So it's almost like for some of you guys, you may not, you may, um, you may be needing not to really talk that much about this abundance, whatever this is, cancer. Mm. Clarify, communicate clearly. So we got the two of pentacles that came out. For some of you guys, I feel like whatever that five of wands is, I'm going to clarify it, but I feel like that's people around you. It's almost like somebody's asking for money. Because with that abundance, I feel like it's money. But it could be anything. But I feel like um, for some of you guys, you may be like going back and forth. This I feel like this is like some type of negotiation or something. What does communicate clearly? It's almost like you may be needing to pick and choose who you want to um, share some type of uh, abundance with. Clarify, yes. Oh, okay. So some of you guys may be ending. Um, this could be some type of work situation. We got the Ten of Swords. That came out. With this, yes. So there's definitely some type of ending that's happening um, after some sort of abundance comes in for you, Cancer. And it's almost like you may be um, trying to decide on what, on like who you want to share some sort of abundance with. Okay. Clarify, yes. Okay, that was one too many. Clarify, yes. Oh, wow. So, okay. We got the two of cups that came in. See, I had a feeling this was going to be about love, but I just ain't say nothing because, um... I'm going to show you guys what's at the bottom of that energy oracle deck. I feel like this is some type of, this could be definitely be some type of apology from someone. It's like someone's coming in with some kind of abundance. Um, I feel like cancer, somebody's coming in to communicate clearly to you that like, yes, 
I feel like somebody ended a situation or there, there was like an ending to a situation. Um, so this could have been you can't start the other person. We got this two of cups that came in under yes. It's almost like someone's coming in saying like yes, cancer. Um, they want some type of connection or um, they want to have an emotional bond with you or um, work on some type of relationship with you with this two of cups that came in. But for some of you guys with this two of swords, I don't know if it's on their part. There's some type of conflict going on or it's almost like somebody had to make a really tough decision about ending something here. Clarify yes for cancer. Yeah, okay. So yeah, this is the I feel like this is the abundance right here, Cancer. This Ace of Pentacles came out for um clarifying yes. I feel like this is a person, Cancer, that's coming in to offer you something. So let's clarify some of these cards. And we got the judgment cards at the bottom of the deck too. Oh, so Cancer, the reason why there's no need to worry is probably at the bottom of the deck. It's probably because you could be worried. I feel like there was some type of conflict going on. Either before this abundance um, is coming. Well, before this abundance got here or whatever this abundance is, it's going to cause some type of conflict. Like some um, people hating, basically. Whatever this good news is. And we got Ace of Pentacles. That's something tangible. And it's right next to the Two of Cups. So it could be like a a relationship. Because I'm going to just go ahead and show y'all what's at the bottom of this deck right here. Yeah. We got man holding a heart. So this is a male dealing with um love, emotions, family. And then below that we got happy family. And then below that we have woman holding a heart. So this could have been a person or a situation that you were worried about. I mean, some of you guys could have been um, worried about your love life. But I definitely see somebody getting an offer right here. And it could be, this could be somebody from the past with this judgment card being at the bottom of the deck again. Clarify this five of wands. Oh... Okay, Cancer. I don't know if it, it was on your part or their part, but there was some type of conflict where somebody went somebody went into hermit mode. With this hermit card, and then we got the Five of Cups. So I don't know if somebody hurt somebody's feelings or what. That's what it seemed like. But I see good news coming in for someone. Let's see what this Page of Wands is. What's this Page of Wands? Oh, yeah. We got the um the Queen of Pentacles. Cancer, I feel like you're coming in as the Queen of Pentacles. With this page of wands, this is this is good news. So this could be some type of promotion. But I feel like this is money for someone with it coming under abundance right here. What's this King of Pentacles? I mean King of Cups. What's this? Okay, so this Queen of Wands just fell out. Whoever this is or whatever this abundance is, Cancer, I feel like you're going to love it a lot. But it's like something that you're really passionate about. Whether either this is a person or um, either this is like a person you had conflict with or there was some type of disagreement. I feel like somebody's coming in with um, some sort of abundance or something. We got the Queen of Wands. The King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. I 
I definitely feel like this is some type of communication coming toward, like coming in for someone in Cancer. For some of you guys, it's like maybe um, you're needing to use your intuition or for some of you guys, you may be having a hard time listening to your intuition because you may think that this person is lying about whatever this abundance is. I feel like this is something being given to you and I feel like this person is going to communicate whatever that is. So Cancer, you could be like going back and forth trying to figure out whether or not you want to take it. But we got the um the hair fine at the bottom of the deck. This is definitely some type of commitment coming towards someone. What's the seven of swords? Yeah, cancer. Look, this seven... You came out with the Seven of Swords, Cancer. You may be thinking that this person is lying or someone's lying about... Um, cancer, I feel like you're running away from whatever this abundance is. I feel like this could definitely be a person wanting some, type, wanting some sort of commitment with you. And so I feel like this is telling you it's no need to worry. And then we got It's Up To You. And then we have Peaceful Resolution. So this is going back to that last reading. For some of you guys, you may have been um, looking for a sign. Or um, it's like somebody was looking for some type of information. Trying to get more information information um, on how they can change their situation. Like somebody needed... Some of you guys may need a peaceful resolution. I feel like this is how it's coming in. It could be from a person. Or some type of connection. So it could be like a business connection or it could be an actual person. For some of you guys, I feel like this is um, a person wanting some sort of commitment with you. But Cancer, it's almost like you're um, lying to yourself about this. What's the Six of Pentacles? What's the Six of Pentacles? Oh, we already at 22 minutes. Let me cut my... Oh, yeah. Hold on for one second. Okay, so Cancer, guess what came in with the Six of Pentacles? Somebody's coming back with an apology, but it's like in the form of a gift. I feel like after some type of conflict, I don't know if y'all had some type of disagreement, possibly about money, but it's almost like this is their way of like saying that they're sorry. So I don't know if this is like some type of gift or something, or um, this could be some type of support with the Six of Pentacles, but it came in with the Page of Cups, but Cancer, it's almost like, yeah, see... This is, um, for some of y'all, you could have been single for a long time too. Like, I feel like somebody was worried about their love life, but I see something new happening for someone because we got abundance, communicate clearly, yes, but I feel like it's somebody that you was already dealing with because we've seen the judgment card two times, but Cancer, you, I feel like you're going back and forth with yourself. What's this two of pentacles? What's the two of pentacles? Okay, that was too many. Yeah, see, okay. We got the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like whoever this is, they're financially stable um, with this king of pentacles. This could have this could definitely be somebody that you were dealing with in the past because the six of cups came out, Cancer. I feel like that's why you're going back and forth. But I feel like somebody's coming in to communicate clearly to you that yes, they want, um, I feel like they're saying yes, they ended some type of situation or there was like an ending to something, probably on their part. I don't feel like that's your energy, Cancer. That um, yes, they want a new beginning right here, Cancer. 
what's this ten of um, swords? Yeah. Oh, y'all. <laughs> so the nine of pentacles just came out. So if you single, I see that ending right here. Because this is like, yes, I want like a new beginning. Or um, this is like a new um, relationship, a new partnership right here, Cancer. And I feel like this was like well thought out with this King of Swords. I've just seen the King of Swords two times. What's this um, Two of Cups? What's the Two of Cups? Okay. I do feel like Cancer, I feel like somebody wants to work with you um, with this Eight of Pentacles being at the bottom of the deck, but then we got the Seven of Cups. I feel like this has something to do about, um, see, Cancer, I feel like this could be on your part. You could be kind of confused about this connection. But with the Seven of Cups coming in for, um, yes, I feel like it's telling you, like, yes. But please use your intuition when it comes towards people because I don't know who y'all be dealing with. But um, I feel like this is telling you yes because Cancer, it's almost like you, you could be, like, kind of confused. But with the Seven of Cups, it's like, be discerning. Use your intuition. What's this Ace of Pentacles? What's the Ace of Pentacles? Oh, wow. So, Cancer. Oh, my God. This is going back to the last reading. For some of y'all, you could have been praying for... This four of swords came out. Some of you guys have been praying for your financial situation to change. Some of you guys could have been lacking resources. So, Cancer, my camera cut off in the middle of me talking, but it was getting real exciting. Um, I was saying that some of you guys have been praying for your, um, maybe you've been lacking resources because this is coming in clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. This is what you've been praying for and it's clarifying yes. So this is like the answers to your prayer. So um, it's like you're, you're not, you don't have to worry because we got no need to worry at the bottom of the deck. It's like you don't have to worry about that anymore. And this four of swords could be like recovery too from some type of financial setback. Maybe you've been lacking resources. For some of you guys, I feel like you've just been feeling lonely, too. It's like the answers to somebody's prayers. Like, what, like um, this could be some type of, like, dream or something that you could have had or something. But um, with this Four of Swords coming with the Ace of Pentacles, like, this is, like, yes, this is what you've been praying for. This is, like... Um, not really saying that it's the answers to all your problems, but I feel like it's bringing you some sort of peaceful resolution because, um, below no need to worry we had, it's up to you, Cancer. It's like, it's up to you on whether or not you want to take this offer because it'll bring you a peaceful resolution. This is like what you've been, um, asking and praying for. I feel like this is the sign that you were looking for. And I feel like it could be coming, uh, from a person. Now, this could be somebody that you were dealing with in the past. That could be for some people. I know some people, like myself, like I don't want anybody um, <clears throat> back from the past or whatever. But this could be like a past life situation. But let's see. Um, what's this abundance that's coming towards cancer? Yeah, see, Cancer, some of you guys been stuck in a mood. You guys have a new love coming. Whether this be, um, I feel like this is a person for some people. Because we got man holding heart at the bottom of the deck. So this could be you, Cancer, about to um, 
like enter into someone's life or someone's entering into yours. Somebody's about to bring somebody out of a mood. Or you could be doing this uh, for another person. Because I feel like somebody was lacking some, like, lacking love. Um, not love for yourself, but it's just like some somebody needs something to bring them out of this mood right here with this Five of Cups. Somebody could be uh, helping somebody um, bring them out of depression with this Five of Cups. And then we got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This clarify abundance. Because I feel like somebody's being in hermit mode. So somebody could have went through some type of um conflict or something. What's this five of wands? Tell me more about this five of wands. Yeah, see, somebody's taking action. Some of you guys could be doing with a fire sign, but somebody's taking action towards leaving a situation where there's like a lot of conflict with this knight of where um with this knight of swords. Like somebody's like leaving it, like they're rushing out. Or they done already did. What's this five of cups? Yeah, see, the Ace of Cups just came out. See, somebody's about to make a decision to, um, it's almost like they're choosing you, can't sorry, you're choosing someone. But look, this is what it's looking like. This is coming in under abundance. So I feel like this is like a new love that's going to be um, very abundant for you. Cancer. It's almost like this is like the universal way of like, um, giving you abundance whether it be from a person i feel like whoever this is they're like definitely financially stable and that's not going to be for everyone but it's like whatever this is it's like you you don't have to worry anymore like it, it's not going to be because i feel like that's going back to the last reading that i did where the moon card had came out it's like you guys were worried like you were stuck in a mood sad maybe even depressed like you're about to come out of that whether this be like a new love um this could be a new career for you it's just like something that you're going to love that's going to bring you um, some kind of like emotional fulfillment. Bring, like bring you out of this Five of Cups mood. So I'm going to leave the reading right here. Um, this is a really good reading for Cancer. So yeah, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.